You know, it was troubling, at least for me, to see the bickering that preceded President Obama's message to our nation's children about the importance of working hard in school, graduating, and becoming productive contributors to our society. I think it exposes a deeper challenge to our nation's future than improving the achievement scores, graduation rates, and career educational opportunities for our nation's youth. Now, without question, these challenges are real, but the backlash to the president's chat with our children, in my opinion, exposes something equally dangerous, the lack of trust prevalent in America today. And trust me, when trust goes out the window, there's little hope anything worthwhile can be accomplished. Think about it. What usually is the first thing that dooms a relationship? Somebody acts in a way that violates the trust that is the very essence of intimacy, whether romantic, professional, or societal. Once trust erodes, fear and doubt permeates the foundation. It is weakened, vulnerable to collapse. What good comes from operating from fear and doubt? Little, if any, I would suggest. Trust is the key. It doesn't matter whether we're talking success in marriage, business, an athletic team, or the leader of the free world encouraging children to realize the importance and responsibility of education. In each and every Run to Daylight presentation as the comeback coach, I encourage others to focus on three things that will help trust thrive. After all, when talking about trust, we can only control ourselves, right? I can't do a darn thing except being trustworthy myself that will make you more trustworthy, right? It all starts and ends with me and with you and with everybody else. The three traits are daily. Do only things that honor you, nurture those dependent upon you, and add value to the communities you serve. That's being trustworthy, defined as worthy of trust, reliable. Where might it be time for you to become more trustworthy at home, work, or community? Where is it time to really step forward and be a person of your word, someone others can trust, defined as a firm belief in the reliability or truth of a person or thing? When the motives of our president when encouraging our children about education are questioned, it speaks volumes about how mistrustful our nation has become. It's paralyzing progress. Trust is the key. Without it, we're doomed at home, work, and community to failure with nobody but ourselves to blame. This week, be part of the solution. Be trustworthy at all times. There's a couple of reasons I'd love for you to visit my website. First, I'd love for you to sign up for the weekly pep talk. And second, while you're at the website, I'd love for you to order my latest book, Lemons and the Margaritas. If you do, I'm going to send you a copy of my first book, Kids Teach the Darndest Things. All this and more info on my website at heycomebackcoach.com.